Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account. We have 74,000 diamonds and we're gonna be cleaning up some of the things we have going on in here. Now, of course, we know both of the new heroes are up. That is right, Rimuru, we're building them out quite a bit, have a lot of gear, but also Shuna is also up as well. Now, we are seeing them used, if you caught the last video, in the test server, actually being used in the Cursed Realm and the Nightmare Corridor and the Treasure Scramble. So the different ver variety of heroes are being used in a couple different places. Now, of course, we know that Villanelle is also being used in a few places. Now, this is a hero that I do not have up to that one star. We're gonna go ahead and do some summons. Hopefully, we can pull the other copy. If not, we're gonna do the Desired Hero summons. In addition, I finally have the last copy of Mortis. That is right, guys. The last copy of Mortis finally came in, which means that he is done. Now, looking at the heroes we have here, we have one Light Bear with Adrian and Elise. We have two Maulers, we have zero Wilders, and we know that the Awakened version of Montandra is coming. And then of course, we have two of our Greyborn heroes, meaning that we really don't have anyone left to summon. We're literally running out of heroes. And then of course, within the next 26 days, we know the Awakened version of Montandra is coming, which means we're not gonna have a new hero to release out of the desired hero summons. I'm hoping I catch the very, very tail end of it and we'll be able to actually pick up another hero which means that all the epics you see here, except Zekas, look at that. Now, Zekas, of course, is another one that I have never built. Um, I actually don't have any copies at all of Zekas. I believe maybe an Elite Plus, um, but overall, that is a hero that we did not build. We actually skipped that hero, but cool to see that we got him here, and I would love to see an Awakened hero. That would be really, really cool to see um, if we had an Awakened hero, but there is a copy. Look at that. Double hypo. We got Mizoth and we got Zekas out of here. Very, very cool. Could we see an Awakened with our points to go ahead and finish this one off? That's kind of crazy luck right there, which of course, once we start getting them up to five stars, uh, we can swap them. We can swap all the additional copies. So unfortunately, nothing in there either. Let's see if maybe we can get a copy of a Mauler. It is a copy of Kren, so that one, again, is going to be kind of the recycled. Now, of course, Kren used to be best in slot for a lot of different content, and we need two copies out of here. So I'm hoping we're not gonna have to go through too many of our diamonds in here, get those, so one, two, three, they are gonna make us max out the diamonds, which is a triple, look at that, guys! Triple copies of the hero, wow! That's awesome. That is a way to build a hero. One, two, three, third one being a triple. That is awesome. That That is really cool to see. It does burn through three of my attempts, which means, and this has happened before. If you guys re remember historically, um, there's been, and look, someone's even summoning for me Zoth right there, but there've been a lot of heroes where we only need one copy and then we end up double pulling the one copy we need. But there we go. We went through a lot of, a lot of diamonds in there, and there is Mizoth, there is Zekas, there, there is Villanelle. Um, awesome to see. Now, of course, with the last copy, so look at this. With the last copy of Mortis, that completes our Challenger store in its entirety. And look at that, Mizoth goes to Mythic. Out of a hero that I have never pulled for, we already have him at Mythic. And then, of course, looking down here, um, we have one more copy. And I think that is it for Zekas. Um, we only have that Elite Plus, so that was literally the second copy that we had just pulled. But like I was saying, with looking at the hero's big picture, that actually gives us the ability um, within the Challenger store, which I'll show you guys in a minute, that we don't have anyone left to build. We are completely built out and bought out of the Challenger store as well, which means within the store, we are only gonna buy red chests from now on which of course we could go ahead and pick up some of our shards, which we really don't need. But down here is red chest. So we have every hero out of the challenger store at this point. And I feel like we're getting to the point where we are maxing out a considerable amount of the content, which is really cool, honestly, um, to go through here and max these out. Now we could pick up a couple of these. And of course we are buying Wukong, that's right. After we did the hero swap, I am buying up those copies of Wukong. Out of here, we could also get, because remember, we already have Rimuru, we already have Shuna, so we have both of the heroes already bought out, so I'm not really too worried about it. And then they're already at plus 30 signature items, so we could save for some space emblems, or we could pick up some of the Twisted Essence. Now, Twisted Essence, of course, um, we are almost maxed out in the Elder Tree. Talk about maxing things out in their entirety. There is one more level, so we can actually add a couple more levels. 
Tank tree is 204, which is the very last one that we had to max out. So in the next week, of course, we're gonna max out the rest of the Elder Tree branches and just wait for the rest of the heroes to essentially build them out. Now, of course, looking at Villanelle, we are going to go ahead and add the engraving on here. We engraved the other two heroes. This gives us, what, enough, and we do have enough in there. I'm not gonna take her to a 60 because we're saving the rest of our elemental cores to actually build out that awakened version of Entendra. But of course, this is gonna be nice strike up to two other charmed enemies. And that further reduces enemies attack rating when she inflicts that uh, scorpion venom. Not really too worried about that one either, but overall engraving on her, I don't know if you really need it, but you know what? We got a lot of mats and we know that again, there are more heroes coming down the pipeline. Now, of course, that is going to give us a rebate. I love that it gives us a rebate. So remember, Looking at Villainy, um, there we go, that's 6,000 pull coins out of the advanced ship. We also do get the ability to, the, yeah, picking up. So we spent our shards to pick up cores. That is a pretty, pretty well worth it, in my opinion, guys, to get both of those. And it keeps uh, popping up right there, and I don't know why, because unfortunately we don't have two copies of Eugene at this point, but really, really cool to see. Now, of course, the events that are going on, we went through, we did the circus tour. Let's look at the Magician's Hat, guys. 1,700 tricks in here. That's right. We're going to go ahead and burn through all of these magic tricks. We're looking for really anything. Anything we can get in here. Look at the Essence. That can be more levels. Now, when it comes to our Stargazer cards, we could definitely use those. Um, we could use a lot more of the Time Emblems. Anything we can pull in here, which there's more baits. There's some Stargazer Scrolls. And of course, the resource utilization out of here, look at that one, that's 200 of our Twisted Essence. That is a pretty good return right there. We get some shards. And I'm not seeing many cards. That only pull one. Oh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough, so it is literally just pulling the one. That's okay, we'll, we'll get more of these next time. We'll pull these single mag magic tricks. Now, as you can see, we do have 50 of our, um, our tickets right here, our circus medals. So exchanging, really within this game mode, there are three things. Um, we talked about red chests, we talked about the cores, we talked about the baits. Since I already have Beast Resonance 18, I'm not buying the baits. If you do not have all of your beasts up to Resonance 18, I would get the baits because again, the beasts are an absolute game changer. We have 65 here and then red chests we have, uh, oh, it's not gonna show us how many red chests. Not sure how many red chests we still have left after everything we built but I think we're sitting on quite a few, uh, 1,400 red chests. So of course, going in here and maybe pulling Entendre to an 80, I am gonna pick up Elemental Cores out of here. That way we can actually pick up a couple hundred more, which what, that's another 600 cores. That is massive, guys. Here's of Vesperia, we are almost a master. Now this one, of course, we're waiting to get Ascended Hildwin out of there. And then the Dreamy Garden, we just have a little bit more to do within uh, the maze, Temple Rift does have another day on the reset. Also have to come in here, which we'll do on our live stream and finish out the Misty Valley. We have a lot, we have a lot that is done here, guys. And it's really, really cool to see. It, it's awesome. Just the feeling of the, the accomplished. And I know it took five years to build a majority of these heroes out, but it is kind of crazy with how much progression we've made. Let's go ahead and max that one out. So 213 is gonna be the new max in here which is pretty cool. Now, of course, looking at the Dragon Isle, this is another place, Dragon Forge, we pushed to nine again. We might be able to score through nine, but even looking at the reward calculation, we get a tiny bit more, and then, of course, we get two more of these. Might be worth it. I'm gonna have to start uh, pushing a little bit in nine because we are at 45. Now, with that being said, we are saving all of our scrolls out of here. We're not summoning anyone. We're not doing anything because we know Nyla is the one that we have built. Now, this one, we need a copy of Gwen. I'm gonna go ahead, let's do all of our summons in here. Now, of course, like I said, we need a copy of Gwen and we need that one copy will get her up to um, Mythic Plus, which of course is gonna give us a lot more damage for this hero. Five more down, just like that. Now, of course, insignias are incredibly difficult to get, which is one of the reasons why it has taken us an extended amount of time to actually build her. We do have two of these records. Now, buying both of the heroes it did give us the ability in the ship to go ahead and do a pull. So let's see, guys, if we can get some of these furniture scrolls. Boom. First one is going to yield us oh, some of those. And number two, can it be the furniture scrolls? It is. 
just some resource. So unfortunately, no furniture scrolls, but that's okay. Um, because maybe next time when we buy something next month, we'll have the ability. Wait, two draws? Did that reset? That's weird because it says we don't have any, but it took away what I purchased. Maybe it was just a, just a bug in there. But yeah, one, one, two, three. There we go. So all three of those are done at this point, but really, really cool. Again, with Gwen, remember we did build her out to a plus 40 signature item. Um, I want to build her up to Ascended, want to put some furniture on her, which we're pulling for now. Also want to do the engraving on her. Also have the engraving for the Awakened version of Entendre. So again, when it comes to the amount of stuff we have to do in AFK Arena, there's always, always stuff to do. And of course, going through the, champ, uh, the campaign progression, we want to go ahead and finish this out, finish in 63, getting into 64, and that might be the stopping point for a little bit. Now, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.